Amazon is trying out a second day of deals. A close game last night. Who took the win in this AFC West battle? Donald Trump recently soft launched his 2024 campaign in Arizona. After the devastation from Hurricane Ian, schools are reopening. <laughs> This is TV2 News. Good Tuesday morning, Portage County, and welcome back to TV2 News. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Lindy Griesinger. And I'm Natalie DeSantis. Tomorrow is the annual Bowman Breakfast. The event will take place in the ballroom of the Student Center. Doors will open at 9, and breakfast will begin at 9.30. Senior Vice President of Student Affairs, Lamar R. Hylton, will be the featured speaker. The Spanish and Latin Student Association and the Kent Caribbean Student Organization are hosting a dance night tonight from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. It will take place at the Aeronautics and Technology Building. The evening is a chance to celebrate and learn more about Hispanic heritage and culture through the art of dance. Guests will learn four culture-based dances after an informative presentation and discussion. And with midterms coming up, it's time for some self-care. Tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Williamson Alumni Center, you can stop at different designated stations to promote self-care. Some of the stations include yoga, t-shirt making, kindness, rock painting, and plant people making. Question, Persuade, and Refer QPR training is a suicide prevention training. There is a session being held today from noon to 1 p.m. The class will be held online and registration is required to attend. This is a great opportunity to learn more about how to help. Good morning, Portage County. I'm Mara O'Malley, and although it is only Tuesday, us Kent State students can't wait because fall break is around the corner. So let's take a look at what kind of weather we can expect. So currently in Kent, we are looking at 54 degrees, and it feels like 54 degrees. We have a dew point at 43 degrees, and that gives us a humidity around 71%. Winds are coming in from the southwest at about 2 miles per hour, and we have a visibility of up to 3 miles. So all across Northeast Ohio, we are looking at temperatures between the mid 40s to the mid 50s. Uh, down in Canton, it's about 47 degrees. Up in Cleveland, a little bit warmer, 54. So it just depends a little bit south, it's a little cooler. A little up north, a little warmer. So for our seven day forecast, um, we got temperatures ranging from your high 50s to your mid 70s, so different temperatures all throughout the week. A little bit of rain creeping in um, on Wednesday and Thursday. It kind of stops for the weekend. We have some sun peeking out. Not too much though, because it's still pretty breezy, still a little cooler. And then come Sunday and Monday, it's just right back to the rain. And we hit a low of about 27 degrees on Monday. Not exactly the best weather we could have asked for with our little break, but we will take what we can get. Have a great Tuesday, Portage County. I'm Mara O'Malley. Back over to you, Lindy and Natalie. After the devastation caused by Hurricane Ian, nearly all of the school districts are back open. Commissioner Manny Diaz Jr. has been in contact with these school districts and is committing to offering any available resources. The Florida Department of Education is closely monitoring the schools and is focused on basic needs such as temporary staffing, transportation, generators, and fuel. 200 University of Florida students protested and interrogated U.S. Senator Ben Sass when he went to campus Monday. He was on campus making a speech since he is the main finalist in the school's presidential search, but the roars of disapproval forced him to end things 15 minutes early. The students chanted phrases like, hey, hey, ho, ho, Ben Sass has got to go, to protest his ideas against same-sex marriage and his attempts to keep the election process secret. Former President Donald Trump hits the campaign trails in western states in an effort to back GOP candidates. The majority of these candidates deny the 2020 election results. Experts say their dominance in the party poses a threat to our country's democratic principles and the integrity of votes. Russia launched missiles and kamikaze drones throughout the Ukraine during the morning work commute yesterday. 
Eleven people were reportedly killed and many more were injured. President Biden came out with the statement that the U.S. strongly condemns the strikes and that the attack shows Vladimir Putin's utter brutality against the people of the Ukraine. Rise and shine, it's sports time. What's up, Portage County? I'm Della Fowler. You know what it means. It's Tuesday morning. That's Monday night football time. Here are your highlights. And we will take it to Kansas City. The Chiefs are taking on the Raiders with the AFC West showdown. Now the Raiders will get it started here on a fourth down. Carr goes back, long pass to Adams. He will be wide open and he's going home. Vegas on top, scoring first. And KC in the red zone now. Mahomes will shoot this one to Travis Kelsey, and it'll put Kansas City up on the board. Now, are we getting deja vu? I feel like I've been here. Chiefs in the red zone again. It's Mahomes to Kelsey. All they'll need is another one. Touchdown for the lead. And guess what? Kansas City's sticking to what they know, and it's working. Mahomes will go to Kelsey. He'll get to run it in a little bit, this time for the lead in the third quarter. Now we are in a close game here in the fourth. What do you do? You throw the ball to Travis Kelsey. Of course, he will give the Chiefs the lead. Vegas is not dead yet, though. Carr will move back, and he will go deep to who else but Devontae Adams. And they will all they will need is a successful two-point conversion, and that's what they're going for. They'll hand it off to Josh Jacobs here, but Kansas City defense came through. That will not be enough. Arrows on top, 30-29 to 29 final. And it was a great day to be a flash yesterday as the Kent State women's field hockey team took home a 5-0 shutout victory over Central Michigan. The flashes dominated on the field with 25 shots and 15 of them being on goal. Not only did sophomore goalkeeper Cecil Vancheck just shut out Central Michigan, but the team was able to score at least a goal in every period. The Golden Flashes will tra travel to Oxford to take on Miami University on Friday and then return home to Murphy Ellis Fields to face off against Penn State in a showdown here. And that is all we have time for today. I'm Della Fowler, have a great day, Portage County. Amazon's first ever second Prime Day of the year. The company hosted Prime Day back in July, but is hosting Prime Day yet again with exclusive deals for Prime members. Prime Day will end tomorrow, so head to Amazon to grab deals on products such as Peloton, Echo Dot, AirPods, Brita, Fitbit and more. The second Prime Day will be an experiment for the retailer to see if a second Prime Day will be worth the hype. Krispy Kreme announced their new Halloween inspired donut collection. The assortment of haunted delights includes the spooky spider donut, the scaredy cat donut, the boo batter donut, and the neon orange sprinkle donut. The chain also announced several of their special October deals including two dollar dozens on Saturday scary sherries and a free donut on Halloween. The Walcott House in Kent is opening its doors for this spooky season to get a glimpse of the paranormal activity that lives in the towering Gothic style home. On the evenings of October 14th and 15th, you can go on an hour and a half tour of the house and the gardens of the property. Tickets are $30 and a portion of the proceeds will go to the upkeep of the historic garden. How cool is it that we have such a historic place in our town that's I'm, haunted? I I'm mean, really excited. I think it's going to be perfect for spooky yeah, season, perfect yeah. for October. <laughs> absolutely. I absolutely. personally think I'm going to go to that. I don't know if I will. I'm kind of scared of haunted houses. So do you think that they'll like set things up to make it like jump scares and things? Or do you think it's just a regular I think it's house. just a regular haunted house. Oh my gosh, lots of real ghosts. Oh, that's terrifying. Absolutely not for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's all the time that we have for this morning. For updates on these stories and more, be sure to visit our website at kentwired.com and follow us on social media, media at Kentwired. I'm Lindy Graysinger. And I'm Natalie DeSantis. Have a great day, Portage County.